All right, guys, so this is what I'm going to do. Before I pull the rear axle assembly out from under the car, I need to mount my panhard bar. And I had ordered a heim joint to run on the post that is already under the car. Well, the post, I say, it's a bolt. You see that bolt up there? Right here? I, re I bought a heim joint, but it is yet to come in. So what I think I'm going to do is... I think I'm just going to run this bushing. I think I'm just going to run this bushing that I put on there. I need to cut this bolt off. And I have these brackets that I had bought at one point in time. I'm going to cut these, cut these down. And basically weld them onto the frame. So that'll be the mount for my my bushing for the pan hard bar in my other garage so what I got to do is I'm going to measure the width of the frame and then I'm going to cut these two brackets down so basically what I think I'm going to end up having to do is just kind of cut it like this and then down these will sandwich the bushing so these will end up this is the other the other bushing that I bought I actually think these brackets were for these bushings. I have two more of these brackets. So it'll just sandwich the bushing like that. So that's how it'll be. So pan hard's gonna come in this way. And that'll be able to pivot. So instead of waiting for the instead of waiting for the heim joint to come in, because truthfully I don't know when it's gonna come in, I ordered it several days ago and there's no update on my tracking or anything and I can't find anything locally anyone locally that has them so I'm just gonna use what I have and it'll be just as good as the Heim joint maybe better I'm gonna get a tape measure make some measurements of the frame figure out how, what size I have to cut these down to and get those cut down get that bolt cut off the bottom of the frame rail get that area of the frame cleaned up and get those tacked in place and then get everything fit so I know it's good to go and then I'll get, get pull the bushing back out because I can't weld it with the bushing because it's rubber and then get it finished welded and then that'll be good so then that'll be ready for the paint process um, so just one more thing I'm gonna have to paint but it is what it is alright so let's go take a quick measurement I'm just gonna actually I'm gonna do this that kind of makes more sense. All right. Now I don't really know if there's any right or wrong as far as the height or the length of these brackets. But I just kind of drew out a quick measurement, a real quick measurement, and I'll show you. So something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a bolt. All right, so I'm just gonna through bolt it real quick. Get it lined up. Just to keep things from moving around. I'm not sure I'm really going to be able to get to it good, but I think it'll be all right. Well, the good thing about little cameras like what I'm using right now is there's autofocus on this. The bad thing about the other cameras that I'm using, this style camera. There is no autofocus. It's a really good camera, but there's no autofocus. That's why it keeps going out of focus. And for some reason, it seems to be just getting worse. So I have to replace the bump stops under the frame. And I had bought like an old Rancho suspension bump stop kit off of eBay for like 10 bucks. I bought them, I bought the whole kit just for these two. But it comes with these as well 
and then another couple, but I'm, I don't really need these at least at this point. I don't know as if I'm even going to need the other ones, but the car had bump stops on it, and it's just drilling two holes and uh, threading, threading, uh, putting a bolt into the bottom of the frame rail, so it's going to do that at some point. Alright, so let's get, let's get this going. I don't want the safety police calling me out. All right, so they're all so that's all cut now. These are all cut. So now what I need to do is I'm gonna get a bolt that's long enough to go through both of them and the bushing. I'll get it set, I'll get the frame cleaned off, and I'll get that tacked in place. inside the bushing I think it'll fit it's just real tight I'm just kind of open up these real quick so I'm just putting a carbide deburrer on my drill and I'm just gonna open up just gonna open this, open this uh, diameter of this hole up real quick. <laughs> trying to go in and out, nice and level. Not trying to go in at an angle or anything. All right, just a little more. So now what I need to do is I need to get these brackets bolted onto panhard bar like so. So that'll be my mount. What I need to do now is get the bottom of the frame rail cleaned up. I need to cut the post off of that frame rail. So let's go do that real quick. Cut that post. I'll clean up the bottom of the frame rail real quick. Fire up the welder. Get get the pan hard bar tacked in place, get, get the mount tacked in place, and then uh, just make sure the pan hard bar fits and then we'll be good to go. Bring this over there so I can get that cut. All right, so what I need to do now is I need to get the paint removed from underneath the frame rail, so I'm gonna do that. It's a little tough to videotape underneath the car, but I'm going to do the best I can. All right. Let's see. It's recording. It's recording. First. a hammer. Bang that off. All right. well, that's all set. Did I bump the camera? Oh yeah, because you guys cannot see. Alright. So that's where the bolt just was. So 
So that's where that is going to fall. Right there. I think what I'm going to do is spin spin this around. There we go. And then I'll just trim off the inside. I think I'm happy with that. I want to make, I'm going to stand up above the car. All right, what I want to do is I'm going to stand on top, up top, and then I just, I want to make sure the pan hot bar is sitting where it's supposed to be sitting. And I know there are a couple of big washers that he had used for spacers. I want to put it, I want to put it the way it's going to be run when the car is put together. This isn't the right knot. It's the it fits. It's the right thread. However, unknowingly, we took the nut that was on this originally and used it as the threaded bung at the end of the pan hard bar for the bushing. That's okay. I'm gonna hold this up. That's where I'm gonna tack weld it right there so what I need to do is go get I want to get a sharpie and I'm going to grab the, the welder and get the welder fired up all right so after, after the weld is running so if you hear the hum that's what it is but after kind of thinking about this a little bit for another few few seconds I realized that I can't mount it on the on the sweep of the frame rail I can but what I need to do is it needs to work at the same parallel as the rear axle. It needs to pivot perfectly up and down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the front tab. So I'm going to mount the front tab and then leave this other tab off for now. And then I'm going to make a measurement. I just, I want the the pan hard bar to be, I want it to be parallel with the ground. Uh, so it needs to be exactly flat, basically. So I'm gonna get one side of the bracket tacked in place and then I'll end up having to cut the other one shorter and I'll show you why. I don't know if I'm gonna get a ground through that. I think I will. trim I'm gonna need to trim the height of this because it won't fit now so it's just gonna be a little bit shorter so what I need to do is measure the top of the from the top of the bolt to the bottom of the frame rail and then cut it off and then get this welded back up I'm gonna do that real quick Get this cut down real quick and then uh, get this hopefully tacked in place. It's not good enough of a ground. 
down now. It was. So with it being parallel with the rear axle, it should move up and down now with the rear axle versus the post and it being sideways, it was, it was essentially static. It couldn't move without bending that bolt. So now I just gotta pull it apart and weld it. <laughs> and the lock wash is doing its job. your eyes. Alright, bye. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Alright everyone, well I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Uh, just finished up doing the pan hard bar mount and I'm gonna next video I'm gonna finish up the lower shock mounts on the rear axle. As soon as those shock mounts are in I'll be able to get this axle pulled apart, sandblasted and painted. So I uh, appreciate everybody watching. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for all the support. A lot of new subscribers. I want to say thanks to Carl. Carl Fisher, he's up in BC. He's uh, Make It Custom. It's his YouTube channel. He gave me a shout out the other day and I really appreciate it. It's cool that, uh, you know, he's he appreciates the things that I do and I appreciate the stuff that he does. Super talented guy, really hardworking guy. And obviously you guys can see that from his YouTube content already. Very knowledgeable, uh, very skilled. So if you guys haven't given Carl a follow, get over to his YouTube channel, make it custom. The videos are crazy. They're awesome. It's him and his wife. They're killing it. And uh, get over there, give him, a, give him a subscription or whatever. Subscribe, hit that, hit that follow button, hit those notification bells for his videos as well. And thanks again for Matt down at Iron Trap Garage. Give me a shout out telling everybody go over and check out mike see what he's doing uh kind of a old school style hot rodder uh don't have tons of fancy tools don't have tons of knowledge and past experience um kind of learning on the fly you guys are seeing that you're seeing how i do things it may be a little different than how you're supposed to do it but at the end of the day if i can get this car back on the street and it goes straight down the road and it does everything it's supposed to do 
I'll consider that a success. So thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next videos. Like I said, like and subscribe. I really appreciate that and hit that notification bell so you guys will get notified when I post up the next video. So we'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.